Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for X. It's square root of the quantity X times square root of the quantity X times square root of X equals seven. I think I said that right. So let's do it. The best way to get rid of a square root is to do the inverse operation, which is squaring both sides. On the left-hand side, this square and the square root are gonna cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, let's just leave it as seven squared. And then once again, let's square both sides of the equation. This squared will distribute both to the x to give us x squared and also to this thing to give us this thing squared. And then the square will cancel out the outer square root. And so on the left-hand side, we'll have x squared x root x. And on the right-hand side, we can multiply these two exponents to give us seven to the fourth. So we have one more square root to get rid of, so let's square both sides of the equation. This squared is gonna go to all three of these. The x squared will become x to the fourth, the x will become x squared, and the square root of x squared is gonna give us x. And then on the right-hand side, seven to the fourth squared, we can just multiply the four times the two to give us seven to the eight. So on the left-hand side, this x is the same thing as x to the one. So now we can just add these exponents. Four plus two plus one is seven, so this side is gonna be x to the seventh. And on the right-hand side, we can just bring down the seven to the eight. The way to deal with this x to the seventh is to take the seventh root of both sides. On the left-hand side, the seventh root and the seven will cancel out to just give us x. And on the right-hand side, we can clean this up a little bit. This seven to the eight, let's break it into a seven to the seven times a seven to the one. Now let's give each of these their own seventh root. This seven and this seven will cancel out to just become seven, and this one exponent isn't doing anything. And now we have the answer to our question. X is equal to seven seventh root of seven. Now let's put a box around it. And if you wanna try one on your own, what do you think Z would be in this equation? How exciting.